I didn't know if they was whispering about me in the kitchen or not. But when the I got there, my mother was on 10. Like, my mother was on 10, like, uh-uh, I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> It's Raya. Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. And it is Friday, niggas. It's Friday. Um, hi. Happy Friday. As always, before we jump into the story time, I do have to do the writer of the week. Yoda. So my writer of the week is my little boo right here, Rod Cam. He sent this picture to me on Twitter. Uh, I told you guys I was going to try to do boy girl, boy girl. Next week, we will pick a writer from Snapchat or Facebook or Instagram, we'll see. I'll let you guys know, but let's give it up for my baby Rod Cam. Oh, that was my writer for this week. Thank you, Rod Cal, for sending me this picture on Twitter. I love you so much, boo. You might want bow and like you much. <laughs> A lot of you guys requested that I tell the story time about, um, the most awkward dinner of my life and that was with Travis's mom so if you guys have not seen the story time or where I was the ex-girlfriend from hell where I mentioned the story time you need to go back to that video it'll be up here somewhere and watch that story time so you can be caught up shut now shut now so you can see exactly how much of a nice person she was <laughs> but I also want to let you know that I will have a big announcement at the end of this video so you might want to stay tuned and watch the end of the video so you'll know <laughs> well let's go ahead and get right up into the story time so try to come into the story time um respectful as respectful as i can be because i do know that travis watched some of my story times and he might watch this one if it has something to do with his mom um so i want to be as respectful as possible without letting my emotions get like up here with it if you can't see it up here with it like but um for you guys don't for you guys who don't know I'm gonna give you a bit of a backstory um me and Travis dated when I was 15 we dated for a long time on and off really really long time that entire time from the time his mom found out that he was dating me she did not like me for what reason I don't know I cannot answer that question you would have to get in touch with her and ask her I really don't know like I could not tell you because before she found out that we were skipping school at her house, she didn't like me. Like, I don't know why. Like, you would have to ask him. You would have to ask her. Like, I think I asked him a bunch of times. He gave me a bunch of different excuses. Um, but they were always different, if you if, if that makes sense. They were always different. Um, they never really made sense, um, especially since I was 15 and she had to be, like, 40-something. I just don't understand that. Like, you're a grown-ass woman, like... It's better ways to deal with your teenage son, teenage daughter, than the way that she dealt with me. And I told you guys also, in turn, as for her not liking me, she also had her niece, who was probably 26 at the time, and her niece's mom, which was her sister, also not liking me. So it was like a band of little bitter bitches. That's what I'm calling them. Bitter bitches. The band of bitter bitches. The three me's. <laughs> Um, and they all didn't like me. It was a time where um, his cousin hit me up on uh, MySpace and telling me to leave her cousin alone and how I wasn't this for the, this for him and that for them. And his mother didn't like me. They don't understand why I just don't get the picture. Yes, things like that, my friends. Um, but somewhere along the way, I had to be about 16. This is when I changed from going to Week High School to Shabazz High School. We weren't really seeing each other that much and I guess Travis was complaining and um, she saw that so I guess somewhere in that little bubble of hers she decided to be an okay mom and she tried to like invite me to dinner so that like I guess she could get to know me without like judging me but honestly to be really honest with you guys I really believe that Travis like kind of begged her like just try mom just try to get to know her like she did da, 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 da. and I even remember one time he said to her like why are you guys doing that like y'all too like y'all too old for that and if somebody was to tell me like if I was acting like a, a child 
um, to one of my kids friends and my, my child my children was like why are you being like you too old for that like I would feel some type of way and I would then in turn try so I I, I think that's what happened um but at no point in time was I ever disrespectful to her I never was like fuck her like she too old for that shit like I remember always being genuinely hurt because I really really loved him I wanted his mother to like me like it just that's just how it's supposed to be like you just want the person that you are with constantly or you're in a relationship you want their parents to like you and after honestly um speaking after that relationship i always went into every relationship like do your mother like me like what's up with your mother like being very like very trying to be very respe respectful of rip trying to be very like nice and like i just I went into every relationship following that like do your mother like me? You sure she like me? Did she say anything about me? Like very insecure about the person I was dealing with's parents because of that. Um, but I can remember him calling me, and then I lived in Stratford at the time, and I remember um, I was hella excited. I'm like, your mother want me to come to dinner? She like, he was like, yeah, she gonna cook. It's gonna be tomorrow. You can come to my house. Um, I think he said we'll pick you up. What? Well, I'm like, my daddy dropped me off. <laughs> My father dropped me off there and it was like a thing where she would pick me up. But I remember before I, I said yes, I was laying on my bed and I'm watching TV and when he said it, I got up and I went to my mother. My mother was right next to mine. I'm like, Ma, um, can I go to Travis house for dinner tomorrow night? She was like, is his mother going to be there? I'm like, oh yeah, she invited me. She was like, she invited you? Okay, Mariah, if you want to go, sure. But that bit, as soon as she said that, like I already knew my mother was going, I'm like this. I'm like my father can drop me off there like it's no big deal like yeah my father dropped me off like I'm feel I'm, something. I'm very upset about how this woman treated me so that's why I'm like kind of calm because like she just really rubbed me the wrong way but um I can remember I was like um yeah she said yeah I was really really I was like super super Super, 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 super excited. Um, so I got off the phone with him, and my mother must have been listening because soon as I got off the phone with him, she came up in the room and she was like, Let me tell you something. When you go to this motherfucking lady house, if she try anything, it's because my mother already knew how she felt about me, so my mother then in turn did not like this lady. Because why would you like somebody who dislikes your 15, 6 year old daughter because they're dating your 17 year old son like how does that make sense so my mother already didn't like her she's like if you go to this bitch house and she try anything slick call your father and he'll be right back there up there to get you and this time i'm not gonna be so nice i'm gonna come up there and we're gonna beat her ass this is after y'all have to realize this is not this is not like off rip this is after her niece had sent me um, my face messages telling me I wasn't good enough for her cousin and how her aunt didn't like me and how I was uh, I, I was like a, like hood rat trash when we all grew up in the same motherfucking hood you grew up for a week and week in a week big section on not and that's the whole stroll okay let's be clear about that uh, but like she used to say all this shit she said all this shit to me and this is after like the fact after this this is after the fact that my mother knew all this so my mother was like on 10 already like if this bitch say anything out the way if she make you feel uncomfortable just leave out her house sit on her porch and we will be over there to get you and i was just like okay like don't worry about it like i don't think she would invite me there to do that and my mother was like and if that little bitch his cousin is oh you better not you better come right back the fuck out you better come out or you better let me know um so it was supposed to be it was supposed to be just me Travis, his stepfather, and his mom. Oh, mama gave me that whole spiel. Y'all, I legit, I'm not even lying to y'all. I'm not even lying to y'all. Like, I legit picked out an outfit to wear and everything the next day. Like, I was that, like, excited. Like, I was that trying to, like, I was dead trying to make her, like, I don't know, like, I was trying to get her to like me because, like, at that point in time, <laughs> yo, man, I'm like, I'm gonna be with her forever. Like, forever like that's my baby forever this is what i thought at the time um so i'm like i need her to like me like listen i'm gonna be her fooling in world one day like i need her to like me <laughs> um so i did put i did got an outfit and everything like i was very, very nervous <laughs> very nervous so i can remember we was talking about it like 
forever. Like we were talking about, we was texting about it all day. I was texting about it while, while, while I was in school. It was like a, I was very excited. <laughs> I was very nervous too. So the next day came, uh, my mother gave me the same speech that she gave me the, prior, the day prior. The bitch say anything out the way, leave out her motherfucking house. So want her motherfucking boy and wait for us to come and I'ma beat her the fuck up. And that's just how it was. Like that's just how it was. But like I would never like even if something went wrong, which something did go wrong, like I was never gonna be like, oh my god, mommy, come beat this bitch up. Like no, because I still was in a relationship with Travis. So I was in a relationship with Travis. So it was like I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be rude and fight his mother or argue with his mother or have somebody fight his mother when I'm with him. Like, I'm just not that type of person. But she didn't care like that because her niece do sure didn't want to fight me. Um, so the day came, my daddy picked me up, my father in the car, he's like, I don't want you to go. Uh, I don't know why your mother letting you do this, but I guess it is what it is. If his parents won't be there, I'm okay with that. It's it is what it is. So my daddy pulls up. And um, Travis is waiting for me outside. He comes to the car window. My father like, what's up? My father always called this nigga that black motherfucker. Cause I remember we had to pull up. He's like, he go this black motherfucker right there. <laughs> so we pull up. He like, oh, what's up? Y'all having dinner? Your mother in there? Oh, your father in there? Travis like, nah, my stepfather. All right, take care of my daughter. Just like that. Like my father was just like that. So I get out of the car. I'm like, bye, daddy. Get out of the car, yo, I am shitting bricks on the way walking up the stairs to go in his house. Like, I'm shitting bricks. Like, I'm just, like, so nervous. So, I go in, and I immediately smell food. Uh, I go in the kitchen, and I'm like, hi, Miss, mm, call this bitch Tabitha. Hi, Miss Tabitha. And I say, hi, Mr. Whatever I call his stepfather. Mr. and Mrs. Whatever. I was very respectful. I've always been like that. It's always Miss such and such. Mr. Such and such. I've just raised that way. Like, even if we, like, even with uh, Jose's mother, like, I still call her Miss Jones because it's just a respect thing. It's just a respect thing. Like, it's just like, you, it's just how my nana raised us. Um, so she was like, oh, hi. Just like that. Oh, hi. Are you ready to eat? I'm like, yes. Like, I'm very, like, I'm literally like this, like, the whole time. Like, if you ask my mother, and they say this is my pattern smile, and I keep it on whether I'm comfortable, happy, mad, like, you will never know because I'm just like this the entire time. Like, I'm just like this. When I'm very uncomfortable, I'm very nervous. And um, she was like, okay, then it'll be ready in like 15 minutes. Y'all can go ahead and sit in the living room. Mm, Travis was about to walk into his room, though. But we sat in the living room, we turned the TV on, and we sitting down, and it was so y'all we be trying to kiss <laughs> we trying to kiss and everything <laughs> uh on a slaw slaw but they was like right in the kitchen and this is where it started getting uncomfortable like i could hear them whispering like i could hear him and her whispering travis's mother and stepfather i could hear them whispering i didn't know exactly what they were saying um but i definitely heard them whispering and um i was very uncomfortable like i was just like Okay, now I'm about to go in here and I'm about to have to sit across from them for a good half hour, 45 minutes, um, and pretend like they do want me here, but clearly they don't want me here. Like, it just was like the most uncomfortable situation of my life. One of the most uncomfortable situations of my life. Uh, but let's go ahead and fast forward. Let's go. So, we get me, we sit, we sit for dinner. Let me tell you how uncomfortable I was. This woman made whole fish, like different fish. Like a bunch of different fish, but like how um, how Caribbean people do it, like they leave the head and the tail on. It is what it is. Like I'm not gonna eat the tail, I'm gonna eat the head, motherfucker. I'm gonna eat the middle of it. Like I'm gonna tell you how uncomfortable I was. She had fish, uh, rice, broccoli, and salad. I was so uncomfortable that I didn't want to like they offered me salad dressing, but I didn't want to take the dressing from her hand. <laughs> She offered me salad dressing and I didn't want to take the dressing from my hand. My hand was shaking so bad. Like, that's how nervous I was, y'all. And like, I feel like, uh, like that's how nervous I was. So I'm like, no, I don't eat salad dressing on my salad. I don't eat salad dressing on my salad. Like, so I'm so nervous and worried. Like I had eaten like a dry salad with cucumbers. Luckily it had tomatoes in it. Cucumbers and tomatoes and like romaine lettuce. It wasn't even romaine, it was like iceberg lettuce. So it wasn't like super dry, it was dry. <laughs> I remember it was like so embarrassing. Like cause Travis was looking at me like cause Travis was, Travis was here, his mother was here and his stepfather was there. Um, 
So I remember he was cutting his eye at me like, what the fuck, you don't eat salad on your, uh, you don't eat salad on your salad? Like, and I, like, I just remember like, I was quiet most of the time. She was asking me questions. I was answering them, of course. Um, his stepfather was asking me questions, but like, I had to, his mother had to kind of like, reiterate his questions because his accent is so thick that I didn't really understand it. Like, but then she started asking me questions about like, how long we've been dating. And I remember I was like, oh, we've been dating since like, um, February of last year. Which is my, she was like, oh, that's a long time. Like, little, like, invasive questions. And then, like, she would do a little, oh, hmm. Like, one of those. And it's like, I am 16, my friend. Like, you should just kind of pull back and relax. Especially when I don't have no, like, adult of my own there to kind of, like, be a space filler. Like, you should probably chill out. So, we get through this uh, obnoxiously awkward dinner which lasts at like 30 to 45 minutes. Travis gumped his food. I'm sitting there picking up my food. She's like, oh, you must not be hungry. I'm like, no, I am hungry. She's like, oh, you don't like it? I'm like, no, 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 I like it. So, but yo, I really didn't like it because she had these big ass peppercorns on her rice and like on her fish and like you crunch into peppercorns and it's a little spice, it's harder. I didn't really like it. The fish was flavored well, but like it was too many peppercorns, like whole peppercorns. She was like, wasn't good. Uh, but like I had to stomach through it or whatever like that. So dinner was over and we went into the living room, me and Travis, and we sat down and we started, you know, watching TV a little bit because she was gonna take me home. And um, so like we was just waiting for them to finish cleaning up or whatever. So it was time for them to take me home. Uh, I remember I came with a scarf and I came with my jacket and I came with my pocketbook. And she like, oh, Travis, go unlock the door and uh, I'll meet y'all in the car. So we go and we go and I'm like, oh wait, I left my scarf. I left my scarf. So I go back in the house. I walk past her room, was right here. I walk past her room. I go in the living room. I pick up my scarf. I'm walking back and I hear her say to her husband, I still don't like this little bitch. This is what she said about me. After I was very polite, I was very like, Y'all, I've never been like so disgusted in my life. Like, I've never been so disgusted in my life with a person, a grown person who just don't like me for no reason. I've never did anything to this lady at all. I never said you fat bitch. I never said you bald headed bitch. Like, I never said none of that shit to her. Like, I've never, ever, ever, ever said anything out the way to her. Um, there, there's not a time. There's not one time that she could ever say to you that I was disrespectful. There's never one time that she could say that she ever seen me beat her son the fuck up after he cheated on me. There's no reason this lady could possibly have not to like me. And if she ever said, oh, it's because she was in my house. And no, because be prior to me being in your house, you never liked me. So, she said, I still don't like this little bitch. And I was just like so heartbroken. <laughs> I was so heartbroken. I got back in the car. I didn't say nothing. I was silent the entire time. She drove from the Week Wake section to Stratford Avenue. And um, we got out the car. Travis walked me upstairs. I gave him a hug and a kiss. And he peaced out. And he didn't think anything of it. Well, boy, let me motherfucking tell you who thought something about it. Because when I walked in the motherfucking door, my mother was in the motherfucking kitchen. She came out the kitchen. Remember I told you I walked into Stratford. The kitchen was right here because it's the same place she was fucking waiting on me. The bounce my motherfucking head in, in, in the wall for having Travis ass in the house. <laughs> so, she comes out and immediately she like, what happened? Like, I guess you can see it on my face. Like, my mother just knows me. Like, she just knows me and... She was like, what happened? And I'm just like, I'm just not like, I'm not going back there. She was like, Mariah, what happened? Tell me what the fuck happened or we're going to have a fucking problem. I'm like, I saw what happened from A, B to Z, da, da, da. But when I got to the day, was whispering part like, I didn't know if they was whispering about me in the kitchen or not. But when so I got there, my mother was on 10. Like, my mother was on 10 like, uh-uh, I'm tired of this shit. We going to call Kena. We going to go up there. We going to have that bitch call her niece. And we, they gonna fucking, we gonna beat them the fuck, like, my mother was on that already. But so, so I'm like, just relax, like, and when I got to the part about what she said about me, I still don't like this little bit, my mother was livid, like, my mother was so mad. She was like, oh, 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 this bitch wanted like that, like, this bitch wanted like that, like, 
she was so mad like so mad <laughs> she wanted to kill this lady because that's how you're supposed to act about your kids like especially when some grown ass person is like being like mean to them like she was like a mean girl to me like and we're not in the same age bracket for you to even be like like that towards me like grow up like just like I told her and I forgot what I, I don't know what I call I, I might call her Tamisha Tamika his other cousin that was like liked me she was she said this about her family all the time that side of her family is fake and phony and all they do is sit around and gossip about her and her mama uh, because Travis's mom brother is married to her mother she said it like they're a bunch of gossipy bitches who only want to sit around and hate because they all fat and I shape <laughs> like this is what she said her words not my words like those were her words and honestly it, it proved to be true I don't know if they was mad because they fat and out of shape like I don't know like I don't know that's something you have to ask them but I feel like when you are miserable and you are bitter and you have nothing else to do but to not like a 16 year old um but my mother was mad like she was like pacing back and forth like oh hell no call Travis right now call him right now I don't Mariah if you don't call him every time you're on the phone with him I'm gonna do x y and z like my mother was pissed off she was pissed off so I ended up calling Travis and I told him I felt uncomfortable and da 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 I told him everything I told him everything and I remember um he was like no she don't gotta speak to my mother I remember he was really upset with his mother I remember he was like he got into like an argument with his mother over me over that night and I don't want him to get no argument with his mother that's his mother like I would be damned if one of my sons get into an argument with me argument with me over a little girlfriend but I will be damned if I ever be in that situation where I'm mad at a little girl for dating my son or like I have no good reason if this girl has never been disrespectful to me or my house like I just I don't see how I could actually be disrespectful like that to a little like a that is like a child like I was a child so rightfully so he was mad at his mother but I don't think that I don't I don't want I didn't want I didn't want them to get into an argument but he should have been upset with his mother like my mother was upset with his mother my, my daddy was upset with his mother my aunt was upset with listen Kenan was upset with his mother like they was mad like they was mad like they was mad and I was more hurt than anything because I just wanted to like I just wanted to be regular regular snuggle like I date your son you know we go on dates like you drop us off you pick us up you be involved with me like why was that a thing where you why is that a thing that you couldn't do but you could do it with Khadijah who was the side bitch I'm gonna say this uh because it was said to me uh his cousin said to me that um okay I'm spilling tea y'all <laughs> his cousin said to me that um Travis's mother and sis and her sister was talking and her her father who was Travis's mom's brother like they were in the house and they were talking and he overheard them saying um Khadijah has like a better body than Mariah like wait you comparing high school girls now that's what you do that's what you do in your time like what like so you like her better first of all Khadijah cheated on that motherfucker like come on my dude like come on like you like that bitch over me because you feel like she got a better bo body than me what how about I'm smart as fuck how about I'm talented as fuck how about I'm gorgeous as fuck like how about any of that like why does it matter how she looks over me like like how does that even make sense I am a I am a genuinely good person like I am I see the best in people all like I am just a good person like you wouldn't want a good person to be with your son because what like the, to hear that that was said and the premise is and the premises as to why she liked Khadijah over me that is sad that is like uh want to punch you in your face sad like you should grow the fuck up so you can be happy in your life with your cheating ass husband sad like are you fucking kidding me like, don't play with me. Like, I was so mad, y'all. Like, I was so mad. My mother, like, once she once she heard, once she heard that Travis had got an argument with his mother, she was like, whatever, like, I'm gonna drop it, but you're never going back there again. I went back there again. But I ain't never had dinner with them again. Like, um, yeah. 
Yeah, that was that dinner. I was just like, huh. Oh. <sighs> but yeah, so that is it for this story time. If you guys want to hear more story times, I have a story time about uh, how she was acting when the Travis took me to prom. <laughs> yeah. If you want to hear that, let me know down below. Um, thank you guys for watching the story time. And if you want to hear my big surprise, keep watching. Okay, so after that very dramatic story time, because I was very hurt as you guys can see, but I'm just not a crier. That's not going to happen here. <laughs> Um, I do have some big news. A lot of you guys have been wondering, you know, why my video game has been slacking a little bit. Um, some of you guys had asked me on Snapchat what it was, and some of you guys had asked me on my live stream what it was. Uh, so I will tell you guys. <laughs> I'm pregnant! <laughs> I am 16 weeks pregnant. It's very weird for me to say. Cause you guys know if you've been watching me for a while, if you watch my other Q&As, I didn't want any more kids. I still don't want no more kids. <laughs> but I am very pregnant. I am 16. You can't really see. It's not that big of a, it's a little, 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 little hump. Um, yeah, I'm 16 weeks pregnant. Like, yeah. I am going to find out what I am having in about a couple weeks. My cousin Birdie wants me to have like a gender reveal party. And she's going to record it or whatever and you guys will see it. But like... It's either a boy or a girl, and if it's a boy, if it's a girl, you guys will get a really good reaction out of me. <laughs> but if it's a boy, um, I'm, I mean, I've, I've had two boys already. I've had two boys, so there's not that big of a, oh my gosh, a boy. Like, as long as the baby's healthy, if it's a boy, as long as the baby is healthy, we are all good here. If it's a girl, <sighs> Well, let me guys, let me know down below if you want to see any pregnancy updates. I will be all for that. My boobs got really, really big. Really, really big. <sighs> I gained like 10 pounds in four months. So, yeah, that's new. <laughs> but uh, I'm pregnant. I am 16 weeks pregnant. So, it's good to tell you guys I was hiding it for a long time. I was like, I'm going to hide it until I'm in my second trimester. But y'all know I've been in my second trimester for like four weeks. Um, so... I'm pregnant. But that is the big news, my friends, today. Are you guys excited? I might have a little Raya. That is the only thing that's like so exciting. But um, pregnancy is pregnancy, you know. I've been very, very, no. If you guys want a 16 week like update, like or update like every month, I can do that for you or whatever. But you gotta let me know, you know, I'll make the video. These with these, show my little belly bump. It ain't nothing, it's literally nothing. But I'm pregnant. Baby number three. Um, I love you guys much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.